Good morning. Welcome back to Life in the Life. It is actually 1230. It's not morning anymore. Good afternoon. <laughs> Dorothy and I are on a mission today. We are on a quest. Okay. Tell us all about it. All right. For our ladies group, I have planned a really neat thing. Um, we are going to be making uh, the 500 mil mason jar of... Um, a bean soup mixture that everybody can make and you can either give it to someone as a blessing or make the soup and have them over to eat it as a blessing. Mm -hmm. so, now the soup like in the jars it's just the dry ingredients right? That's correct. Yeah. But the only thing you need to add is water and one can of tomato soup. Yeah. So it's really simple. Because all the seasonings and everything we're putting in the dry ingredients. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Len and I had it earlier this week and we didn't even share with anybody because it was yum. Well, you wanted to test it out to see if it was good. Well, yeah. I didn't want to make something and then find out it was kind of gross or something. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Because, <laughs> you know, it's, you never know. Exactly. Now, so. the recipe does call for a can of tomato soup, but... Or would you think of trying a can of diced tomatoes instead? You know, the can of tomato soup added such a nice amount of body mm. to it. And it had the right amount of seasoning that soup has. Right. Because we didn't add any extra salt and pepper, whereas the soup had it. Right. So I would probably not change it. Gotcha. Which really surprised me because I was thinking I would. But now, it was just so good. Like, just like that. Yeah. Now, my bean soups that I make, I typically put a form of pork in it. Would you put pork in this if you were going to make it a different way? Or we Well, you know, like with any bean soup, you could get a little crazy and do mm -hmm. a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. You could get add a can of corn or mm -hmm. um, we used green beans or green split peas. Green split peas. And uh, they were a penny cheaper per 100 grams, and I thought they would add color to the jar, and they do. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, you could add the yellow split peas and, you know, add a little more water, and yeah. it would still be very, very tasty. Yum. All right, so we will take you shopping with us as long as music's not loud in the stores. <laughs> if not, we will show you the ingredients that we get when we get out of the stores, depending what happens. So stay tuned to the video and you'll find out what happens. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> Dorothy and I have had all our shopping fun, but oh. the video or the stores, the music is way too loud. Our car is full. Oh, yes, it is. So it's all back there. <laughs> all back there. And in the very backpack. <laughs> So we got the mason jars and we got all the ingredients to make the bean soup. So let's try and do by memory. There's barley and kidney beans mm -hmm. and split peas mm -hmm. and <laughs> what else? Um, navy beans yep. and pinto beans. Mm -hmm. And then there's minced onion, minced onion, and beef soup mix, parsley flakes, and parsley flakes, and something else, bay leaves, bay leaves, yep. Something another thing. So what I could do is get my portion because I'm gonna be made. Well, actually, I think we'll do this as a cooking with Kevin because we have to make. We want to make the soup and see if it's... I want to make the soup and see if it's good. You've already tried it. So, I could get the ingredients from you. Mm -hmm. And then I can show them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's what I'll do. Okay. In which case, we could go to my house. And then we could do that. Oh. And then... I'm going to do that for you first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, so um, change of plans. We were going to go out for a snack. We're going to go back to Dorothy's. 
Well, so we'll, maybe we'll go out for a snack and then go to your house. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you back at Dorothy's. <laughs> All right. So we're back at Dorothy's and we are going to put one of these jarred suits together and show you what we're doing. And um, then I'm going to ask Kevin if he wants to do it for cooking with Kevin. Hmm. But you know that Dorothy and I did not go shopping and not come home with at least one craft thing, right? Like everybody knows us. I'll turn you around and show you. All right. So I found this beautiful pad of paper, $6.97 at Walmart, 50 sheets, and they're all double-sided. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to use it. Dorothy and I will come up with some fun things with that. Oh, that's for sure. Uh-huh. And then for $6, I got this stamp set. Not that I need more stamps, but you know. I have a mason jar like this much larger, so it'll be nice to have the smaller one as well. All right. On to showing you what we're doing with the soup. Dorothy can, can walk us through it. Okay, we're starting with white beans. Gonna be exciting. Then how much? Uh cooler cup. Okay. Oh, I dropped now. No, see. Yes, I did drop some. Mm -hmm. And we're using um a two cup mason jar. Yes. And I'm just gonna get some more out of here. Yes. Because Kelly is going to make it for the meeting. Yes, so we're, Dorothy's making a double batch so that I can absolutely make the soup did for... I it did. Ran away. Um, I'll make a pot of the soup for the ladies to try at our night. Remember it being so hard to pour them in there. Okay. <laughs> So you want me to kind of flatten out there. Mm -hmm. And kidney beans. Oh, by the way, I don't know how much this bag weighs. Suffice it to say, it's like humongously heavy. Oh, yes, it was. And can we drag it here? <laughs> we have six cups of various spices. Mm -hmm. And 12 cups each of beans. Ah, oh, no, 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 don't fall on this one. <laughs> okay, so now I'm starting with. Okay, that was the white beans. This is. What the hell if I stop? There we go. Okay, so now we're doing the kidney beans. And they're a quarter cup as well, right? Yeah. All the, the beans are a quarter cup measure. So don't pay attention to me when I do this one. Yes, because that's, that's the double batch. I figured when I got it open, I may as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right into my spoon. Okay. So. I'm running out of room on this table. Okay. <laughs> Split pea. So. We, uh. Didn't put more than six cups into the bags because we didn't want the bags to break. Oh, yes. So, and here in Canada, we have a bulk store called Bulk Barn. And uh, you can pretty much get anything you want there. Okay, so now the trick to make it look pretty is to pour it in kind of on the edge mm -hmm. so that you can see the color. Nice. <laughs> Kelly, I'm not making your sense. No, it's all right. Um, okay. I'm, writing it all over. I'm just going to stop you for a sec. Would you mind going and turning the radio down? I will. Thank you very much. Yeah, we don't ever get very clean when we're crafting and stuff. <laughs> All right. Next step is now I gotta find pinto beans. 
They're a cool looking bean. Those are the beans that you make um, refried beans with. And I'm not giving you any because you have some. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yes, I do. I have a bunch at home. Uh, oh, but you have the two the two cup one. Are we? Oh yes, that, yes, that's I'll give the. You no, I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> don't I'll mind me. I'll give you some. Don't mind me. And see, isn't that pretty? It is very pretty. Nice layers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can see even in mm -hmm. here. Yeah, it looks pretty. Now, the next step is interesting. Is that our spice? Oh, is it the spice pack? All right. I'm just going to put these guys back in here. Well, I've got to cast away. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to get a big bag. All right. You'll need two. I want of these. No, that's too small. That's actually small. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to try in this baby because it does it work or it won't work. Okay. So, the next thing is now that we have our pretty little beans. Mm -hmm is in a separate baggie and you really need to remember this because what you're going to be doing is these get to soak overnight in water yes. cold water so now i need and i have the right thing out <laughs> like that i need two tablespoons of barley i love barley oh i love like beef barley soup mm. and i double Egg the barley. Lose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I lost half a bag of beans in the store because the stupid <laughs> bag fell over. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, okay. And then we're going to do parsley. So even the bag of seasoning is going to look just delicious. Mm hmm. See how it's looking so far? Oh, that pretty? is so nice. It's gonna look really nice. Okay. And yes, onion. Do not dump the bag. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Twist eye is not my friend. <laughs> yeah. All right. So two tablespoons of minced garlic. Ziploc, not your friend. <laughs> Anything that requires dexterity, really. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> And beef. Now they suggest beef beyond foods. We just went with beef soup mix without MSG. My husband is very yeah sensitive to MSG, and a lot of people are yep. in the world today. So we just went with the beef soup mix without MSG. Well, and it's cheaper to buy the powder than it is the cubes anyway. So 
Mm -hmm. I have these here somewhere. Babies! So. Two big babies. Okay, so. I don't know if you can even see from my <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I'm trying to get all the air out. So that they'll fit in the jar. So here we are. We have our mix. This is our mix of spices. And the leaves are in there. Don't eat the leaves. <laughs> uh, and then we can actually just squish it in. We can. If we are dexterous. I had a wide mouth jar, so it was quite easy. Yeah. Okay, now under all of this, I have hidden our pretty lid. So, we'll just get it all together here. There! And that's just a piece of cardstock that we put in there. Yeah. And look at how pretty that is. And then we are putting... Um, Raffia ribbon. Yeah. Just around here with a little tag that says friendship soup. Mm -hmm. And it'll give directions on how to cook it. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to be handing out sheets of paper that'll have what we've got in here, mm -hmm. plus the, the directions. Mm -hmm. So that if people want to reproduce this at home and do more, mm -hmm. they have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So this is our wonderful little project. So hopefully I'll get Kevin to do this for cooking with Kevin next Thursday. That'd be cool. All right. Well, that's what Dorothy and I did for the day. I hope you enjoyed it and give the soup a try if you want to. And let me know what you think. We'll talk to you another day.